What's up guys? So I just got done cleaning up the box. Wanted to shoot a quick video. Figured I'd come in, get the box cleaned up. You know, I do that every now and again. You guys should be cleaning your box too. You know, uh, you don't leave the dirt on there. I use this uh, snap-on matte finish for toolbox. I know you guys have seen this in my video, but this stuff works great. You put it on there, it kind of looks like it's going to be streaky, but then after it dries, it looks perfect. Gets the grime and grease off of there. With the black, you know, you don't think it's dirty until you see the rag and a bunch of dirt ends up being on the rag. So just use a microfiber towel, wipe it all down, all the cracks and crevices. You got to make sure you get the top of the box too, up on the ledge here. A lot of dirt sticks up there. Just wipe underneath the handle. But that's not why I came in. I wanted to show you guys. I got the, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen maybe if I've ever had the lights on, on the box, um, the LED ground effects. I put the RGB LEDs in there, you know, uh, had it set up on a remote with the little sensor down there in the corner, right there. And I, uh, you know, anytime I wanted to change the color, I would just take the remote and switch the colors. I don't even know where the remote's at anymore, but uh, wanted to show you guys, I had a company send me the, the Wi-Fi little uh, range sensor, this thing right here. Gonna get ready to install that in here. And basically coming from Here's a couple other things they sent me here. These are pretty much the ones I had on here. These are just normal, uh, these ones are just the normal power supply for the remote with the sensor, the IR sensor. It's not Wi-Fi or anything like that. This is pretty much what I had on there. I'm gonna be switching it out to the Wi-Fi one. It still has the remote and everything. The remote's a little bit smaller, but this one you could hook to Wi-Fi and you know, have uh, it controlled to your phone and have it be Alexa controlled. I'll leave a link to the, an Amazon link to these where I got them from. Great company. They sent me all this stuff really. I even got the little, uh, little connectors for the LEDs, but pretty much for the, uh, you know, the red, green, blue, the four way one. Instead of soldering it, sometimes you could just connect it together and then continue on. So I already got the lights underneath there. I'm pretty much gonna, uh, take the little thing and switch it out that I got. I'm gonna take that one off, install the other one, and then I'll just show you guys how it's controlled by Alexa. Should be pretty cool. Alright guys, so I pretty much unplugged the old one and put the new one in there. You can see right here, I just mounted it under there, hooked to the lights, got that dropped down, plugged into a power supply. And then I want to show you guys, I got one out here, I'm going to show you guys how to set this thing up with the app and uh, get this thing hooked up to Wi-Fi. Plug this in. All right. Now you'll hook up power supply and you gotta get it into learn mode. All right, so here we go. You hook up power supply and you gotta get it into to, to the learn mode to, so like you can find it and hook it up to the Wi-Fi. So basically, you plug it in, it'll flash three flash three three times through all the colors, red, blue, green. And then basically to get it into uh, to default to set up for setup mode, you just unplug the power for two seconds, plug it back in, and do that three times. Pl unplug it three seconds, plug it back in, and you guys will see probably this next one here, it'll flash faster, I believe. Maybe one more. 
two. There it goes. So it stayed green. It stayed green. So now, pretty much, I got the app downloaded already. But here's the app called Magic Home Pro. Go ahead and download that, whether it's on iPhone or Android. Open it up. Let's go back here. Oh, open it up. We'll go to add device at the top here. And then you'll want to search for it. This is it here, LED net 968EA8. Click on it. You go to Wi-Fi. Connect your Wi-Fi. Now it's connecting to the lights. You can see they solid red, so that means you made connection. And then you can name it. And pretty much we got it. So you'll scroll down. These are all the ones I have on here at the house and everything like that through the same app. Uh, and there you go, guys. You can see it's pretty much hooked up, going through all the colors. You could turn it off and on. There's blue, off, on through the phone. So that's pretty much what, I'm, what I did with the box. So get that set up. That's pretty much how you do that. You could take a picture of this. It'll give you the link to download the app or just search Magic Home, the app I showed you. It'll get you to it, set, get you through all the setup. This one's actually, this controller is actually for uh, RGB and white. I actually only have the uh, RGB, no white. So, but this one's for, I used, ended up using the other one. This one's for a five connector, but let me show you guys what this does. Here we go, guys. Got the phone. Turn on the box. You see they turned on. You could go to the functions with it. Hit blue, red, green, all the colors in between. And then you could also set up uh, presets, colors that you want on here. Set the brightness level all through the phone. I'm sure you guys seen these. I use these lights at the house too, but figured make the toolbox a smart box. That's just white color. And you can set it to red and there's also functions you could go to make them flash and all that stuff. Seven, seven color crossfade. You could go to that. Let's see, green strobe. Let's see if we can get this one to fade. And I believe you could make it go fast and slow. There you go. So they got all the settings in here. What else we got? A jump change. That's pretty cool. But you go through all the things. And then what's really cool about it Without the phone, we'll grab Alexa here. So we got Alexa in the shop, and I could just go, she's hooked to the TV up there, and just go, Alexa, set box red. Okay. Alexa, turn off box. Okay. So it's pretty cool, guys. Go through all the colors. Alexa, set box blue. Okay. Really don't have to say Alexa. Set box yellow. Okay. So there you go, guys. Got the ground effects. Set box red. Okay. Smart toolbox. Just figure I'd give you guys a show at it. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to leave a link to these. Amazon link to these where I got them down in the description. Always read the description, guys. But figure I'd just run through it real quick with you. Show you guys what I got. I got some uh, some extra ones here that they sent me. Maybe I could find a use for them. Get some more lights. But uh, these Wi-Fi controllers are pretty simple. 
install and everything else it's better than the Philips Hue lighting that costs a bunch of money but a lot cheaper so yeah guys just wanted to do a quick one for you um, I know you know LED lights isn't for everybody on their toolbox I know a lot of people mention in the comments that they don't like it the ones that have seen mine but you know I personally like it it kind of gives uh, you know it gives my box character it makes it more me I'm all about modding things DIY things like that um, plus to get the kind of uh, black and red theme going that I kinda got going on not only in my shop but at the, in the toolbox too um, they're super cheap a nice quick mod to do you know instead of just buying plain old colors and being stuck with one color you know you can kinda switch it through whether it's the Wi-Fi controller one or just a regular one with the remote you know they're pretty cool I ran with the remote one for a while actually you couldn't even find a remote I, I, I finally found it but you know most of the time it's either set on ch color changing or just red or blue things like that um, leave down in the comments guys what you think or if you guys has put LED ground effects on your box you know let me know how you like that you know it's cool let me know how the co-workers like it I, I think it's a pretty cool mod you know I'll probably end up doing uh, the light the, the LED light that turns on and off with when I open and close this I'll probably uh, set that up also to be electric controlled you know like say Alexa turn on workstation and the light pops on or off or something like that that way when I'm at home if I feel like I could check the cameras here at the shop and the security system at the shop if I accidentally light, left the hutch open or something like that I could always just go on my phone and turn it off or just tell Alexa to turn it off like I said just a quick one guys you know if, if you don't like the LEDs so what I do you know it, it, I think it's cool it's uh you know light everything up everything's LED everything's Wi-Fi now so I figure what's wrong with a smart toolbox everything else is going uh, you know smart technology so everything else is Wi-Fi but uh, don't forget about the tool giveaway at the end of November coming up soon guys if you haven't got in it check out the video at the end of this one to uh, get yourself in it and it's for a chance to win we got the three tools we got the uh, the Maco determinator we got the blue point kit um, with the sockets and wrenches and a ratchet and all that stuff in the kit and then we also got the um, the compression tester so if you guys want a chance to win that like I said I'll probably throw in a bonus one at the end of the month maybe a surprise one we'll see what it is um, as always guys like comment subscribe and we will catch you in the next one signing out so I want to show you guys this I got the app pulled up got it dark you can see the blue red looks pretty slick just the white under there maybe if you drop something under there you can turn the lights on to see it if you're in a dark shop but yeah pretty cool fade through there we go but everything's here in the app guys